Hello everyone, this is Justin here at Zon Commerce. Wanted to chat with you all today about some more keyword research stuff. I think, you know, product research, keyword research, all the work that you do at the very beginning phase of this process of becoming an Amazon seller uh, is, is without a doubt the most important phase of this entire process. And if you're not giving yourself that leg up on the competition to find all those nuggets of, of not just information, but keywords that can really catapult you beyond what your competitors may be doing is so valuable. So, you know, I actually started using this one tool called Keyword Inspector um, for my keyword research needs. I use Google Keyword Planner. I use Merchant Words. Um, I use a few other tools as well. But out of all of them, this one has been really, really powerful. I use the Google Keyword Planner, sort of my base. And then when I really want to dig deep into some opportunities, I go into Google Key or sorry, Keyword Inspector to find some really good stuff. And you know, for the past month that I've used this thing, man, it is it is incredibly powerful. So I figured I'd go through the process and show everyone just a few of the really neat things with this particular product. Um, it's, it's very straightforward. I mean, all you have to do personally is type in the ASIN and will perform the search for you. And you can use or make your own judgment call or they will help you make a judgment call on what keywords are popular and which ones you should really focus on. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to just use a random ASIN, a market that I know personally is probably pretty saturated. And so I decided let's look at the wine aerator market. And the wine aerator market is ridiculously saturated. I mean, there are a ton of sellers selling um, wine aerators. So it's not the best market to get into, but for the sake of this exercise, let's look at the, these guys. They're a best seller in wine decanters, the Vintorio Wine Aerator Pourer. Go scroll down here and what you would do is you'll come down to the ASIN, and you'll copy the ASIN, You'll go back into Keyword Inspector, you'll type it in, and then you'll hit Go. You'll just start your reverse ASIN search. Now, there are a number of ways to do this search. The first way is through what's called an extensive reverse search, where it will use three credits. I like using this one. I just go ahead and use this one more than any of the other ones, primarily because it does it finds for you the least converting keywords versus the highest converting keywords. Meaning, what's the likelihood that if you, you were to use that particular keyword, how many sales you can get based on the number of people that visited your listing? That's very valuable information because you don't want to just go after keywords that are low converting. Even though it may provide for you a lot of impressions, you want to go after the ones that are also highest converting. So I use that data. It also pulls in data from... Uh, from Google Keyword Planner and tells you the total search volume. And I've told you all before in the past that that data can be extrapolated out onto Amazon. If you see a high search volume on Amazon or on uh, Google, you can probably notate that as high search volume on Amazon as well. So that's the first way you can do the search. You also have this just a simple um, reverse keyword search. It will give you um, the position in which that keyword or that particular ASIN is ranked. You also get that data in the extensive as well. Um, and there are a couple other ones in here. You can use this uh, new simple um, uh, two credits per ASIN, reverse ASIN keyword search, only keyword position ranks are given. I don't use that one. I mean, again, it's the same data that you, you would get in the extensive. Um, so I me, I just get all the data at once. So it's done with, and I'm not second guessing and saying to myself, Oh, I should have gone back and, you know, done the search that way. No, I just get it all up, all up front so I can make a better decision. Because again, this is the most important phase of this process, the product discovery, the product research and the keyword phase. If you're doing a good job there, you're giving yourselves the base and more opportunities uh, to sell across many really powerful keywords. So let's say here for the Ventorio, we type in the ASIN, we start the search, and I actually already did this search, so we'll just plug, plug right into here. And it pulls up all this data, right? So you have uh, the search, which tells you what type of searches was. It was an extensive one. It gives you the ASIN. It also gives you the CSV file of all that data. So you can go into that data and slice and dice it any way you want um, and see you know, which keywords are highest performing, which ones have a high uh, conversion rate. You can find all that data that way. And then this gives you the link to the actual search itself. 
So let's come, we'll come down here specifically to the wine stopper pour. We'll click on it and it will pull it up. It's a little slow right now. Should pull it up in a second. Let's click on that again. In the meantime, while that's pulling up um, with a CSV file, and one other thing that's worth mentioning is when you do um, when you do go directly into this interface, it's important that you still download the CSV file because this data is only good for a month. So the point in which you bought your credits and you know you went in here and said, you know what, this is a popular you know ASIN. Let me you know do some keyword discovery. You want to download that CSV file because that data will not be live within a month of you um, performing the reverse ASIN search. So just just a point of that, uh, emphasis on that on that front. So I've pulled in all my data, and this is where it gets really fun. So this gives you all the different columns. Of course, um, you have the best keyword rank. And this is just part of their extern internal algorithm, what they believe, uh, in their opinion, is should rank the highest based on conversions and based off of search volume. So they're telling me that wine stopper poor is a ridiculously powerful keyword and you should absolutely, um, if you're going to sell that type of product, you should absolutely target that particular keyword. So I would jot that one down. I would also this also this is the uh, new the new column that I mentioned where they give you the actual search volume in Google. So let's take this one for example, wine stopper pour. Even though it's an amazing it's an amazingly good keyword, yes, I would still you know copy it and and, and use it um, for my pay per click advertising and possibly even a super URL purposes. But I would also look at the Google monthly search volume, and I'd say to myself, you know, this keyword only gets 40 searches a month. So you really have to balance, you know, find a, a, a nice balance between the total number of searches versus, so the total number of searches versus the, the conversion. If you know that you can get a really good conversion, but you have a low search volume, that still might be a very popular keyword worth going after. But if you find that there's a keyword that has sort of medium conversion and there's really low uh, low impressions or low search volume, I may not focus on that keyword as much. With this one, because it's part of the the you know the keyword discovery phase, this is a keyword or a product that people would still you know want, like a wine stopper pour, wine aerator. I would still go after that keyword for that matter. And so you have that information. This also uh, breaks down individual extensive words that you want to really consider, like wine. Here, down here, you have stopper, so you can put down here liquor, you know, stopper, decanter, bottles, you know, something else worth looking at. And then what's also cool is this common misspellings one. And so I'll come in here, and let's say we go down the wine aerator, which is probably the most searched uh, keyword for that particular item, which is in fact a wine aerator. So I'll come here, and I'll say wine aerator. Um, it has this this particular ASIN has a rank of four. And the word, the, the actual rank from, from keyword inspector is six. So I'll say wine aerator. It's getting 12,000 searches a month, which is a ton of searches. So you can see that's a very popular keyword that you absolutely must consider. But here's the other thing. If you come in here, it also gives you the other misspellings for that keyword. So I'll come in here and I'll say, all right, I'll add in wine aerator because that's how some people spell it. I'll put win aerator because that's how some people spell it. And I'll just put in it as one word. Factoring all those things can really make a difference as you're going after new keywords that can really help exploit some opportunities to sell on Amazon. And then here in the individual words extensive list, you have bottles. So maybe some people will notate it as bottle aerator or bottles aerator, or aerator bottles, or things of that nature. Like you never really know unless you test and go through the trial and tribulations of performing a lot of this keyword research. And as you kind of go further down, you can see that there's so many other keywords you can look at. Um, double funnel, I probably wouldn't include that, but wine aerator pour, absolutely. Wine air aerator, absolutely. Decatur and air aerator, absolutely. Wine accessories, of course, without question. This is definitely a wine accessory that any wine wine enthusiast would want to have in their um, in their in their wine toolkit. I would go down this entire list, continue going until I've really exhausted it. And you can see here that 
I mean, they're the, the I mean, they're pumping out close to over a thousand keywords with this shared search. That's a lot of keywords. That's a lot of information. So you may not go through the whole thing, but this gives you a sense of, wow, I didn't think of that as an actual keyword or keyword variation for this product. You jot that down and again, all the additional keywords that you get that your competitors may not be thinking about is great for your super URLs and it's also great for Amazon PPC because those are keywords that may not cost you as much because they might be long tail, but they still get some search volume and they also might be keywords that your competition is just not thinking about. Um, so, you know, this is a, and it's, this tool is really inexpensive. It's not like you're going to be spending a hundred bucks a month on this tool. I mean, if anything, you'll spend anywhere from 20, anywhere from 10 to 40 bucks max. You know, that's if you have one or two products or even three or four. I mean, we, I, I sell on a global basis and we have well over eight products and, you know, I only spend like 20, 30, 40 bucks and that's it on this tool. It's very, very powerful. I thought I'd just walk you all through just, you know, another tool, something else that you can add to your toolkit for keyword research purposes. I highly recommend it. Um, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this has been beneficial. For all those folks that want to sell on Amazon, I know you can do it. I know you're going to be successful. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks so much.